Hi, I'm T. I'm going to show you how to manipulate your scene lighting so you can check your avatar shading in a wide variety of lighting conditions without uploading to VR chat. First, in VCC, install the curated VR World Toolkit and Highs Lightbox Viewer. You'll have to add Highs Repo to VCC using the link in the description if you haven't already. Highs Lightbox Viewer is badass. If you take one thing away from this video, it should be that. VR World Toolkit gives you a quick way to set up post-processing common in worlds like Tone Mapping and Bloom. Tone Mapping maps the HDR values your GPU uses to do lighting calculations to arrange display devices are capable of showing. There's a lot of ways to do it depending on your goals, but for previewing in the editor all you really need is neutral or aces. Bump your post exposure up if things are too dark. Bloom makes shiny stuff look sparkly and makes the image a little softer overall. Don't get too caught up in your specific settings. This stuff is controlled by the world after you upload your avatar anyway. Scene lighting is where things get a little more complicated. There's direct light, which comes from light components. These break down further into the base pass and add passes. Then there's indirect light, which in the case of avatars comes from light probes and reflection probes. Light probes measure rough, diffuse lighting information, and reflection probes handle specular, mirror-like reflections. Luckily for us, Unity automatically falls back to ambient probes based on the skybox, so we don't have to set that crap up ourselves. We do still need to feed it a good skybox. There's some good ones from Pixar and Polyhaven linked below. The lowest resolutions available are fine for editor preview, so save your bandwidth, download time, storage space, memory usage, and import time for something else. Once you have them in Unity, you'll have to mark them as cube maps in the import settings. Next, make a new material and give it a skybox shader, like the one included in the VR chat SDK, and put your cube map in. Drag the shader onto the sky, then hit Control 9 to bring up the lighting window and generate lighting. You can enable auto update if you want to quickly switch out cube maps. Don't forget to disable it before uploading your avatar. If you're making beauty shots, check out Pumpkin's Editor Screenshot Utility and Silence Custom Tone Mapper. I think that's about it. Let me know in the comments what I should cover next. If you need help, have something to show off, or just want to chat, we have channels for that on the Discord server, so stop by. Like and subscribe. See you next time.